So, the KD-12 just recently dropped and I had to make a decision on the KD-12 or the KD-11 because let's be honest people, the KD-12 is probably a better basketball shoe than the KD-11. Now, this is not to try to persuade anyone to get the 12 over the 11 or the 11 over the 12. I'm just putting some facts out there. And the technology that's on the KD-11 probably never be duplicated again. And when you got a basketball shoe and a lifestyle shoe, I don't think you can go wrong. So let's get this unboxing started and you'll see what's in the box. Okay, as you can see, This is a signature cabin Durant box. And yes, these are the KD-11s. I had to make a choice and I did. So as you can see right here, this is a size 11. And yep, that's $189. Uh, they retailed right around that price, but you can get them for like 150 or even cheaper or more expensive online. Now this is the Nike Zoom KD-11 and this will be the multi-color, but it will consist more of chlorine blue and black. So let's take a look at the box all the way around. Like I said, you got the KD name and number 11 on the top. There's KD, two letters. And there's a signed autograph by KD. Nike swoosh. And at the bottom, you can see the authentic Nike logos. Just so you know. So, all right, let's get into the box. Wow. Look at that. Look at those. Now, people, we're gonna talk about these shoes and let's start right now. I want to explain some things to everyone about these shoes. Starting out, first and foremost, with the multicolor, okay people? These shoes would never, if you buy them and you get them in the multicolor, you would never get the same exact colors because they're multicolor. Some would have more blue, more red, more yellow, uh, et cetera, et cetera. You would never get the same exact colorway. Now, as you can see that icy bottom, that's the thing that everybody seems to uh, <laughs> worry about and I can see why. And I'll give you a good example. Do you remember the Concords 11s? Yeah. So I bought them joints and I had them for a while. So you see how icy this looks? Where are those Concords? Look at these Concords. Look at that. That's what people fear that will happen. Yeah. You can see the difference. So as time goes on, you got to, he has different colorways of these, but you really got to take care of them uh, because that icy bottom will eventually 
start to turn yellow. So let's talk a little bit about this shoe for people that don't know anything about this shoe. So the KD-11, in my opinion, is better uh, as far as being a lifestyle shoe combined with being a basketball shoe. Now, as you know, that's KD's 11th signature shoe. Uh, and I love that colorway because it has a mixture of all colors and you can't go wrong with that. So you have a fly net upper, which I think is completely dope. Right up top, that's, I love fly net. You have that sock like ankle uh, brace uh, that braces your ankle. Can't go wrong with that as well. Uh, it locks your feet in and as well as this new technology. Now, <clears throat> the technology that they put on the KD-11, I'll say it again, probably never ever uh, be duplicated because I'm quite sure they spent a lot of money on that. And what they did was put the React as well as the Zoom together. Now, I'll show you something that <laughs> no one really paid attention to. You see that? Let me bring it up close. That is the Zoom. As you can see, going all the way down. If you ever had a pair of Nike Zoom, you could see the Zoom system right there on the shoe, how they incorporated it inside. That's two different technologies. Like, I'm big on technology when it comes to shoes, which means that the experience that you get, because I tried these on, and I tried the 12s on, in Foot Locker, and it feels like you are walking on clouds with the KD-11. Now, the 12 ain't no joke either. They feel good, but of course, the, they don't look better than me. I mean, I was just staring at both of them and I was like, yeah, that fly net was just killing them. Every time I look at it, I looked at the fly net and I just, uh, I mean, I still like the KD-12 and I still might cop it, but I just, overall, I just think that KD-11 just killed it in so many ways. But back to the React, you got the React right underneath uh, the fly net, which is, and that's, that's just a, such a dope concept, whoever thought of that. And then you have that sock-like ankle collar with the full length zoom air cushioning. So uh, that React is really uh, translucent foam sole. And then you have a blue, Nike Swoosh logo in, in the sole. Let's look inside. Right up in here, let's see. So it's up in there, I don't know if you can get a good look with the KD signature up in the shoe. So yeah, it's really blue too. So you got that in there, as well as that blue Nike Swoosh. You got the stitches on the back. There's KD, two letters KD, and that little pen that everybody was talking about. And I don't even, man, I don't give a fuck about that. That actually compliments it to me because it has 11 on it. That's a compliment. But <laughs> this is where it's at, the technology people. This technology that they put on this shoe probably like I said, it, it probably be copied, but duplicated, I don't think so. That cushioning system, full length Nike Zoom, as well as just React right here. So you really have to put them on to uh, see and feel what I'm talking about. But this shoe, <laughs> I think he really outdid himself with this as far as the look. Because during this time, let's not forget LeBron, had the LeBron 16s. And you could almost say they were pretty much, I don't want to say, they looked a little similar. You know, just a little bit. 
<clears throat> but that fly net, you know, people were using that. That's real expensive uh, material, and you can't go wrong with it. The lacing system, as you can see, it's cool too. That nice little design that they got going, and you just slip in and out. You got a pull tab right here that helps you, and on the pull tab, you actually have number 35, which is KD's number, or used to be his number because he played with the Nets now. So I have to tell you guys, I'm gonna end this on this note. If you go with the KD-11, <laughs> you're getting a better, in my opinion, overall shoe because you got a lifestyle shoe that you can rock. You can rock these casually. And then you got the probably the best system ever made on any shoe with the React as well as the full length zoom. You can't go wrong with it. Now they got different colorways of this. If you have a problem with the bottom, the icy bottoms turning yellow, but you gotta take care of them because they all do. Like I showed you, uh, my Concords, those are some very expensive shoes. And eventually they turn colors. So that's just the thing with those icy bottoms, but just take care of them. And hey, you know what's coming up next. I will be doing the unfeet. And I just had to explain this shoe fully because I've seen a lot of people do reviews on it, but they didn't take time, explain things about the shoe and break it down to people <laughs> what's really going on. So like this video, leave your comment, share it on social media, and I'll see you in a minute with the on feet. Subscribe.